Here are 25 facts on Paradox Pokemon. Number one, every Paradox Pokemon, both Scarlet and Violet, carry one of the original Pokemon's typing and swap out the second one for something else. For example, Iron Bundle's present or original form is Delibird, who is an Ice and Flying type Pokemon. It keeps Ice when it becomes Iron Bundle and also swaps out Flying for Water here. Pokemon such as Fluttermane, who only have one typing in the original form, gain extra typing. In this case, the ghost type Mistrevis gains Fairy. Number 2. Iron Valiant here is the only Pokemon among all the Paradox Pokemon that has a combination of more than one Pokemon, specifically Gardevoir and Gallade, and possibly Curlia as well. While fact number 1 technically still applies to Iron Valiant here, its Fairy type comes from Gardevoir and Fighting from Gallade. Number 3. Normal is the only typing that wasn't used for any of their Paradox Pokemon, besides that, all of the remaining typings have been used in some form. Number 4. Volcarona, Donphan, and Cyclozar all have Ancient and Future versions of themselves and are the only Pokemon to do so. And for Volcarona, it's really interesting since it starts off as a Bug and Fighting type and then it becomes a Bug and Fire type and then later a Fire and Poison type, almost showing off the evolution of this individual species of Pokemon. If Parallax Pokemon are even real, of course, but more on that later. Number 5. Iron Thorns, Roaring Moon, and Iron Jugulus are the only Paradox Pokemon who are weaker than their present day forms. And this is of course because all three of these Pokemon are pseudo legendary Pokemon in the present day. And I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty cool to know that these three aren't always crazy stupid strong. And as a little bonus, Iron Thorns is not only based off Mecha Godzilla, of course, but is also based off of MT from Pokestar Studios, which I'm pretty sure MT just stands for Mecha Tarantar. Number 6. All of the future Pokemon start their name with Iron, even Maridon, whose dex entry states that it's known as the Iron Serpent. Karidon, if you're wondering, is known as the Wind King. 7. There isn't a single Pokemon from Generation 6, 7, or 8 to have a Paradox form. However, Roaring Moon and Iron Valance designs are both based off their respective Mega counterparts of Salamence and Gallade, and possibly Gardevoir, but it's looking more like it's Gallade in this sense. In this case, if you were to look at the base stat totals of the Megas, Iron Valiant also joins a list of Paradox Pokemon that are weaker than their original forms. Number 8. All Paradox Pokemon share a base stat total of 570, with the exceptions being Roaring Moon, Iron Valiant, Coridon, and Maridon, who can be seen as counterparts to each other. Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant come in at a base stat total of 590, while Coridon and Maridon come in at 670. Number 9. Speaking of stats, all of the ancient Pokemon actually go with a stat distribution where all of their stats are odd numbered, except Coridon. And all the future Pokemon go with the stat distribution where all their stats are even numbered, except Maridon. Number 10. Going off the fact that Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant are counterparts, these two, as well as their box legendaries, once again are the only four Paradox Pokemon separated in the Paladin Pokedex from the other Paradox Pokemon. They're separated by the Bexcalibur family, as well as a new legendary quartet. Number 11. Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant do not appear in any edition of the Occulture magazine, where they talk about the Paradox Pokemon in detail, whereas all the other Paradox Pokemon are mentioned. Maybe we'll have to do a video on that soon. Number 12. The Paradox Pokemon in both games of their own versions have dex entries that refer to either an expedition journal or an old book. And this of course is in reference to the Scarlet and Violet books. Number 13. When it comes to the dex entries of Ancient Pokemon and Violet and Future Pokemon and Scarlet, they mention the books but refer to them either as a paranormal or dubious magazine to make up for the lack of the other book in each version. Number 14. While the other Paradox Pokemon may have dex entries that sort of question their relation to present day Pokemon, Coridon and Maridon's dex entries directly mention their relationship to Cyclozar in the opposite versions that they belong to. Number 15. Every ancient Pokemon is taller than their present day counterpart, while every future Pokemon is shorter than their present day counterpart. Number 16. If a Pokemon is version exclusive and has a Paradox form in Scarlet and Violet, the present day form and the Paradox form will always be in separate versions from one another. Number 17. Gen 2 has the most number of Paradox Pokemon being at 5, with the two Donphans, Tyranitar, Misdreavus, and Delibird. Gen 4 comes in at the lowest at 1. Uh, well, actually half, cause it's just Gallade here. Number 18. In their cries, all the ancient Pokemon actually have a traditional Oriental Rift that you can hear in the background, while future Pokemon have a bunch of mechanical and robotic noises. Number 19. For the culmination of this list, we have a few facts in relation to the Ultra Beasts, the first being that both of them are groups of Pokemon that are largely of base 570 stats and do not evolve in the first set of games that they appear in. Number 20. Both are groups of Pokemon that directly tie into the game's main story as they both in a way tie in with their respective box art legendary Pokemon. Number 21. Both groups are full of gender unknown Pokemon and are unable to breed. Number 22. Outside of Karidon and Maridon, all the Ultra Beasts and Paradox Pokemon have an ability to boost the strongest stat 
that isn't their HP stat. Number 23. Promotional material for the initial games that these Pokemon debuted in did not refer to them as Pokemon, nor were any of the types revealed prior to the game's release. Number 24. The characters in both Alola and Paldia are unsure whether or not Ultra Beast and Paradox Pokemon are even Pokemon to begin with. It's only afterwards in both games' stories that they both get classified as Pokemon. Number 25. In the Scarlet and Violet books, there are sketches of what are said to be imaginary Pokemon. The one in Scarlet seems to be a fusion of the legendary beasts, and the one in Violet seems to be a fusion of the original members of the Swords of Justice. But judging by their designs, these imaginary Pokemon are also Paradox Pokemon that will be set to come out in future DLC. Otherwise, why would they make the two separate Pokemon for two separate versions here? And hey, why are they called Paradox Pokemon anyways? I think we'll have to cover that in a different video. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all over on the next video, alright? Later!